Uh, so, uh, speaking of white people, my roommate's here. He's a white guy. Yeah. We just took a trip to uh, Australia together, which was amazing. If you have a chance, go to Australia. It's beautiful there. And uh, he's a firefighter. So he has to shave every day. And, uh, you know, like white people, when they go on vacation, they like to let their beards grow. You know, they like take a vacation from shaving. Well, that's, not, that's not fair. You know, like, I want to do something like that, but I'm Arab. When I sneeze, my beard grows. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to let my unibrow grow in. Uh, I'm going to take a vacation from plucking. Uh, you, you can always tell when I've been in the Caribbean, because I'll come back with it braided with one bead in it. Uh, it was a wonderful time, man. Uh, airport in uh, Australia, it was the first time I didn't get security search, and I was, I was really happy about it, but I was you know, like putting my belt on and putting my shoes on, and I noticed there was this older Indian guy, security guard, at the end of the conveyor, and he was just staring at me, he was just smiling, he was just... <laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> and then my roommate comes up behind me, and he goes right up, and he's like, excuse me, sir, I need to uh, randomly search you. <laughs> And he looks right at me, and I can tell, he was like, this one's for the brownies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was a lot of fun. He was very upset about that. <laughs> Finally, racism in my behalf. <laughs> Love that Indian guy. <laughs> But yeah, we, uh, we actually live, um, we live in Roscoe Village on the north side, but he works in the south suburbs. And uh, the Arabs down in the south suburbs, kind of like the Mexicans in the north side, there's like 12 of them in a house, like three generations in one bed. You know? So like, the reputation in the south side uh, at his fire department wasn't the greatest for Arabs. So when he moved in with an Arab, they're like, oh, you're moving in with a terrorist, yeah. Look out for bombs under your bed. Don't cross it. He'll jihad you, man. He will jihad you hard. <laughs> so when his first uh, firefighter buddy, buddy came to visit, I couldn't help but take advantage and mess with him just a little bit. So he was like, hey, this is my buddy Joe from the firehouse. Hi, my name's Louie. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw two things go across his face really quickly. The first one was, oh god, no, oh no. And the second was, I knew it! 